Hey, good morning everyone. Lacey here from Life Nails and More and it's laundry day. So I thought that I would just do a little video and give some more review and information. Um, I had posted quickly on Instagram. I'm going to load this video onto YouTube for all my RVer friends out there who are curious about this. Um, both of these units were purchased from Amazon and I will put more information um, in the comments down below and everything with regard to their model numbers and, and weights and so on and so forth. Um, this washing machine, even my husband is very impressed with it. I'm going to quickly take my load out and then show you what can be reloaded into it while we're talking. Um, they are relatively lightweight, so they can certainly um, be moved around if necessary. And I will say that the clothes do come out of here dry enough that when I would hang them on a clothesline, it would, on a, a sunny day, a gentle breeze day, they would be dry so quickly. Um, so I am definitely thoroughly impressed with it. Um, the other thing that I definitely want to make sure to say is that the dryer does not function well on humid days. It needs to be pulling in cooler air um, for the sake of having um, the ability to dry better. Even on the highest temperature, I found that it was taking forever for the clothes to dry. Okay, so you can see that that is filled up about mm, three quarters of the way. There is uh, three days, it's just my husband and I, but three days of dish towels, little microfibers for the kitchen, um, undergarments, two nightgowns, um, two sports bras. There's socks for, for three days for two people. And that is in there and that is three quarters full, which is the most that I would fill that. Um, my next load might be a little bit bigger than that. And then we'll see how long it takes it to dry. Um, I usually prefer drier balls because, but because this is such a small machine, I have had to go back to using, um, the dryer sheets to help it out. So you just close the door and the buttons down here are very simple. This big button is in if you want it to be working on high heat or out if you want it on low heat, if you were going to just do like really delicate stuff by itself or maybe babies, little baby onesies and things that you don't want to have shrinking or anything like that. Um, and here is the knob. It's again, I'm sorry, it's hard to see, but there's a red section on the bottom and that is where you need to put it if you want it on high heat. So you just kind of spin it around and it turns itself on. If you open the door, it does shut automatically. So you can like move the clothes around, aerate them a little bit and then turn it back on if you need to. Um, for the load that's in here now, I would give it about 35 minutes and it should all come out perfectly dry. Okay, so here's what the inside of the washer looks like. The washer can definitely hold more than the dryer can. Um, there was a matching dryer for Costway. The one that I wanted um, was just, I, I set myself a budget and I had to stay within that budget. And there were so many good reviews on the Panda and that it was small enough to use inside the camper on a counter. So that was another consideration. Um, but a lot of the times I will just set up a little clothes rack back here behind the camper where no one can see it and I'll just put the clothes on that to dry and I won't even use the dryer and like I said the dryer on a humid day I left clothes in there for probably two hours and they were still kind of damp so it's really not worth it if the air is really humid so please keep that in mind um, okay I'm gonna go ahead and load this so you can see this is a men's t-shirt another men's oh nope those are my little yoga pants my workout pants another men's t-shirt pair of gym shorts my husband's second gym shorts another men's t-shirt uh, another pair of my little sweatpant things that I wear every day in the campground and another pair of shorts so that is what can fit in here um, and that is 
a pretty full load, but I think that's decent. And if I'm doing it like, like I said, every two to three days, my laundry isn't piling up and it's all in my own washer, not washers that people are just accidentally putting all their dog fur blankets and stuff in. Okay, so um, I would use a little bit less detergent than what they say. Um, I also, I basically just use all free and clear and I find that that works really well, but I marked my, I'm gonna show you right now. I marked my cup with a little Sharpie marker and that is all that I use in it for this size load. Um, and it, it's been working perfectly fine. Now, this I will tell you is a little bit of a joke. It has here a detergent box. If you pull the detergent box out, you can see that it doesn't go anywhere. So if I pour my laundry detergent in here, which I will do, you will see that it's just gonna drip out anyway. So I tend to just pour it usually right on my clothes. You can see that it's just dripping out the bottom. So the detergent box is a little bit of a joke. Um, I, again, I just usually pour it right in here like it's doing right now on its own um, and the clothes wash perfectly fine. And before I forget, there is down here, there is a um, catch-all for lint and everything. And I do check that every day after my two loads when I do them every two to three days. And it does actually collect a lot of lint in there. So remember to check that. Um, so you close the lid, you turn it on, and then you have lots of settings that you can go through. And it is really good about telling you like where it is in the wash cycle. I'm going to do gentle for these clothes because we've just been sitting around in them. They're not really that dirty. So you press the program, one, two, three, and then water level, and it will preset your water level. But if you wanted to, if you wanted more water, you can change that. But I go with the preset for number three and then press start. And that is it. It's filling up with water now. It's 26 minutes for the wash cycle. So that is all that is necessary. It is energy efficient. Um, I know that everyone, when I was looking at these machines, I was kind of bummed because there was not a lot of um, pictures of the exact keyboard here and how you program things. So I wanted to make sure that I really shared this. And again, we are really impressed with it. The clothes are coming out very clean. It is very quiet. The dryer is a normal dryer noise, like you can hear it, but it too is relatively quiet. And this is working out really, really well. So this is um, what's in my bin behind my camper. And yes, I am seasonal. Um, so my camper is set up permanently. We are here from April through November 1st. Um, I generally don't give out my specific locations and things like that openly on the internet. Um, but I can, you know, if you want to DM me or, or ask specific questions about the machines and things like that, I would be more than glad to answer that for you. So that's my little laundry room outside behind my camper and the machines that I purchased. I will put more information with regard to each of the units um, in the, the question, uh, the comment area rather below or wherever I can find it to put that information on YouTube. I'm still new to YouTube, so bear with me while I get this whole video thing figured out. Um, yeah, so that is it. Oh, and there is an actual dryer vent. So there is hot air coming out of here. Um, so that's very important that that would have to be vented. Um, we did try doing it without the vent because they do sell it that way and it it did not work. It was never getting really hot inside. The, the clothes were, there was like such a humidity level. When we hook this up and hung it out so that everything is getting vented, it worked much better. And also we cannot really close up the container, which we thought we might have been able to do um, so definitely not something I can do on a rainy day. Everything needs to be open and breathable, um, so that the dryer is getting enough fresh air to function. 
So any questions, let me know. Have a great day.